Some people go to work just because it's work. I go to work because I love what I do. Helping people is in my blood, and it's just really, really important to me to know that the job that I have is making a difference. 211 is just such an essential resource to the community. We get people connected to all different types of resources for like mental health counseling, food pantries, rent, uh, utility payment assistance. We're available 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. We can answer calls in 150 different languages, so there should be no reason why you're not able to get assistance. We are here and we are available. It is just as simple as picking up the phone and dialing 211 or going to unitedwayhouston.org and asking for help. Thank you for calling 211 Texas United Way Helpline. This is Hallie. How can I help you? Yes, Hallie. How can I some assistance with my light bill? Sure. I'd be happy to take a look and see what resources we have to help you with your light bill. When someone calls into 211, we will always start first just asking what they need. Based on that information, we have a whole database that we can search to provide them resources. Every six months, every single agency in the database, there are thousands and thousands of them, is contacted to make sure that their information is up to date, they're still providing the services that they identified, or sometimes they have new information. Especially with COVID, there have been a lot of new agencies popping up to provide services. I think having a program like 211 really helps a community like Houston become more resilient. It helps people that really truly need the help to be able to get back on their feet and get back on a path to success. Houston is a community that always bounces back from adversity. When Harvey happened, the first place that people started calling was 211 to say, what's going on? What's the next step? The same thing when COVID started. This is the first time that 211 has ever operated remotely. It's just a little bit different, but our ability to be able to answer calls and provide resources has not been impacted. In the first four months of the pandemic, 211 has connected over 120,000 people with resources. One of our top needs is just people wanting to know where they can go get tested or asking just questions about symptoms or, um, you know, I'm not sure if I have COVID, what can I do? We try our best to, to have the most current information about testing sites, about when the test results will come in, about different funding that's available. A lot of people are in situations, particularly now, where maybe they were working, have lost their job, or been furloughed, and got evicted, unfortunately. So shelter is always a really big need. We get a lot of requests from people who have Medicaid, but they don't have the prescription coverage, so they're just needing help getting the essential medicines. We see a lot of requests for insulin, and that's just a very basic need that anyone who needs it should have access to, but unfortunately people don't. If you need help, you should always think to call 211. We have every opportunity every day to change the community.